Hello beautiful people and welcome to today's video. I am glad to be back. I've been gone for a little while because I had my wedding going on in Romania. I had a blast. It was amazing. But today we are going to review a new foundation. This was released while I was in Romania and I was itching to come back and try it and buy it. This is from Lawless Beauty and it's called Conceal the Deal Long Wear Full Coverage Foundation. This is supposed to be a long wearing lightweight fluid foundation that delivers modern full coverage with a self-setting natural matte finish that feels fresh and weightless on the skin. This blendable or buildable foundation feels like a serum. So that's interesting. It says it feels like a serum, but it says fuses with the skin to even tone to blur the pores the smooth the textures and cover imperfections. That sounds like the magic formula if you ask me. And that's why I was like in a rush to grab it. I wanted to see if all these claims are true or not. So we're gonna try them today. We'll see how this is gonna go. It also says it has active ingredients that provide blue light and antioxidants protection uh, while suiting irritation and sensitivity that is a lot and i am just really excited to try it i have tried it uh a couple of days before um because i tried it to record this video once before but it was a little bit dry that day i was going through cold so i was like maybe it's just the fact that i'm a little bit cold maybe it's just the fact that i'm not feeling the greatest let me give it another try let's see how it's gonna be so that's what we're gonna do today i am gonna apply the same primer as i used back then and that is the ulta beauty poreless face primer absolutely love this one this is my go-to if you watch me before you already know that this is my one of my favorite primers i'm gonna apply this one real quick and then we can continue with this foundation So as you can see, the packaging, it's pink, but when you take it out, it's actually more of a got black type of packaging. So it's interesting that it has that transformation. Um, it has, it actually, it's, when I looked at it, when I was looking in the pictures, it looked way bigger, but it's actually still the same amount, I think. Yeah, 1.1 fluid ounces and 30 millimeters. So it's a normal size foundation. It just looks a little bit smaller than what I was imagining. So we're going to go and shake this really well. You're supposed to shake it well. So I'm going to do that. As you can hear from the sound, it's very liquidy. And this one is a squeezy tube. I have mine in towny. It's not necessarily the perfect uh, color for me, but uh, it's okay. I'll take it. It's a little bit too light. Um, I thought I got the bright color because I really looked left and right to see uh, which color is going to be best for me. But uh, considering that I also had a little bit of a tan while I was uh, back in Romania, I was not sure which color is gonna be the best one for me so i guess this one is a little bit light but that's okay we can utilize this during the winter so we'll be fine back then this is how much i put uh on we'll see if it's gonna be enough as i noticed back then when i tried it the first time this is a, they say this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation I'm not sure I would call this a full coverage foundation. I would maybe say it's like a medium coverage foundation, but I would not go as far to say that this is a full coverage foundation. It does even out the tone, uh, but it doesn't fully covers all my imperfections. Um, and it does, it did cling a little bit around the dry patches. We'll see if today is going to do the same. I'm hoping not, but we shall see. Okay. 
so as you can see this is how it looks like right now and all that uh, product is still doesn't give me the coverage that I like to have and it's not even I think it was like a light to medium coverage right now I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more over here in this area and uh, I'm gonna leave the rest of it the way it is So I have to say it definitely feels like a serum. It does not, it doesn't feel cakey or anything on my face. I don't feel it like it's, you know, sticky or things like that. Um, now it sells itself setting. So I'm not sure if we're supposed to set it with powder or not. Last time I did use their powder, but this time I think I'm gonna use a very, very little powder. And I'm gonna use their powder again, but I'm gonna use just a tiny bit more in the forehead and t-zone area but not a whole lot because that uh, powder is pretty drying so i don't want to get them uh be again very dry on my face so i'm gonna go really quickly and add concealer and come back to apply that powder all right, so concealer is on. I did set my under eyes because I have to do it really quickly. And I use the powder, the their powder, which is the Seal the Deal Low Setting Powder. <clears throat> and I have it in translucent. I have to say this foundation, it is very lightweight. I mean, I can see everything on my skin. I can see my pores. I can see everything. It just evens out a little bit the skin tone. I would have to say this kind of reminds me of that uh, Pat McGrath foundation a little bit. That's how kind of it gives me the same vibe. I don't feel it. It's kind of the same looking on the skin as well. But I don't think this is for coverage. I mean, the amount I applied, I think it should have been enough to be at least medium coverage, but it's still, you can still see some of the pinks and some of the, the things that I have on my face that are usually, they're not there if I do use a full coverage foundation. So I would not go as far as calling this a full coverage foundation that's just my opinion but let's go ahead and apply just a little bit of this powder i'm gonna go a little bit and just kind of put a little bit on the forehead and i think that's pretty much enough i'm gonna clean up the brush and then just kind of smooth things out with this what i liked last time when i put the powder on i like it because it gave me a little bit more coverage but I do not want to apply too much so I don't dry my face out. You know what I mean? Because right now, I like the way it looks. It looks very natural. It look, doesn't look like it's clinging to uh, the dry patches that I usually have, which are going to be around my nose because I was sick, and around my mouth. So I'm going to see how this is going to react throughout the day. But so far, I like how it looks like but I don't uh, consider this a full coverage foundation. I'm gonna finish off my face and then we'll continue to do the wear test. I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, so here's the first check-in. It's been about an hour since I uh, applied my foundation on and I applied everything else on top of it. And this is how it looks like up close and personal it looks really nice but like i said i do feel like this is not covering everything like i, I still see cer certain areas over here that you can see a little bit of my redness picking through and all that stuff like you can see these two molds that i have and this one right here usually when i go with a full coverage foundation you don't get to see those so that is a thing for me that it says it is not full coverage and um, also, I think um, it has a little bit of a nice matte finish. I would prefer a little bit more, you know, shinier. I was able to achieve a little bit more shiny uh, with some um, highlighter that I applied from Hourglass. But I am going to continue to let you know how it goes out throughout the day. I have a lot to do today. So definitely, we're going to put it to a test. And it's also kind of hot over here so i will see you in a few 
all right so it's been four hours since i did put this on and this is how it looks like right now it does settle a little bit into my lines it is getting a little bit dry around my nose again for some reason and around my mouth um around my forehead and nose is a little bit on the oily side uh on my the rest of my face is still looking pretty good um a little dry i would say a little bit on the dry side i still have the problem with the dryness but so far this is what it is looking like four hours in hello everyone it's been about 10 hours since i had this on my face and this is how it looks like a lot of part of it from this area is already missing on this area is already missing as well it's been pretty dry around this areas all out all throughout the day oily on my forehead and my nose and this is how it looks like on the rest of my face i'll be honest i don't like this foundation i feel like it looks a little even on this areas i feel like it looked a little heavy a little ugly a little dry not what i am looking for in a foundation this is definitely not my vibe i don't think this is a good foundation not in my opinion i mean you pay 39 dollars for something like this it's not okay i can pay less than that and have better results at the end of the day and not have all this weird looking thing on my face and things disappearing on my face like around here and stuff this is not performing to the to the uh, quality and the um beauty i was expecting so i definitely don't recommend this foundation i don't like it the color is kind of weird as well i don't think this is the right foundation for my skin and i am not recommending this foundation to them expensive to work this poorly all right thank you so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you all next time Bye now.